You've been six months in the job now. What, do you, what mark do you really want to leave in the short term? The first is the people of Kumba. We've had a difficult uh, quarter four, and I'd like to make sure that we are friends, we are workmates, we are colleagues, and we are all headed towards the same objectives, which is to add value to all our stakeholders. The second is the operations, particularly at Sishen, to make sure that the, the, the ramp up in West that we are planning, which brings into uh, really another columella within one year at Sishen, uh, that we can achieve that and we can get the efficiencies that we want to do and get the cost to the right level. Do you expect more labour problems? I'm hoping that we will not have a uh, labour problem this year. We have addressed uh, everything that happened last year and will continue to address it this year. We have dismissed over 100 people uh, and 49 of those are in court for a, for a variety of criminal offences. Uh, they've been in court three times now and they are out on bail and we'll let the law take its course in, in that regard. But the new people are, are on board, they're being trained, we're getting new people for the ramp up, so all that is on track. When you entered this space, I think the price has let you down. What is your view going forward on the price scene? You're right, the prices did let me down significantly, 23% uh, actually last year. Um, there were lots of things that happened last year and we see that most of that has settled down. Mostly to do with uh, how the economies will develop in uh, uh, 2013 and beyond. 155 is an excellent price and I'll take it any day. Uh, however, we don't expect 155 level to be sustained. We expect that uh, there will be a softening of, of prices, especially in the second half of the year. But we still expect much firmer prices than 2012. You're looking to growing from 43 million tons a year to 70 million tons a year in virtually six years. It looks like quite a stretch target to me. Firstly, we expect that Sishen will be pro producing 41 million and Colomela will be producing 9 million. So that gives us our base uh, from which to grow. And then we expect that uh, we will get 6 million from a Colomela expansion. We start to look at the lower grade materials that we have and we have the technology now to be able to bring that into account. The export channel growth is something that we really need to look at. And uh, this year we'll be getting together with uh, Transnet They've been doing a feasibility study, they'll bring that to the table. We've been doing our studies, we'll bring that to the table. Uh, and of course, we'll consult with all the other players in the industry who would also bring uh, tonnages onto the iron ore mine. And then we'll decide how that line will be expanded. Uh, I think it will go ahead. I would like to see it happen. From uh, the Limpopo side, that is more for domestic supply. But you're looking uh, down at a possible closure of your uh, Tabazimbi operation and hopefully a sunrise with Phoenix. Do you think you'll be able to match the two? We will try very hard to match the two because if we don't, uh, th then there is some uh, issues to do with the, the employees and the equipment and the mining and so forth. It would be really very nice to go from one to the other. But Tabazimbi is reaching the end of its life and we have to continuously optimize what we can get from which pit and at what cost in order to reach the, an optimum level of closure. Um, Phoenix is proceeding well. It's, uh, it's now going into feasibility studies and by 2015 we expect that we can then bring it for approval as a project. Uh, so I really hope that we'll be able to bring that into account in line with when Tabazimbi comes to an end. We are in constant discussion uh, with Aslamitol on Tabazimbi. Uh, they bear all the costs of Tabazimbi right now, so it's very important that we reach agreement about where we're going and walk uh, hand in hand. Uh, they've been very supportive so far. And dividends, uh, uh, 4 billion rand now, 18 billion rand for the year. I mean, this is remarkable achievement uh, and so much of it flowing into the black economic empowerment space. Kumba is a very good cash generator and we give cash to all our stakeholders. We give billions to the government. And, but we're very pleased about the empowerment uh, shareholders. And I think when the MPRDA was being put into, uh, into law, they had Kumba in mind because we really have fulfilled what the uh, MPRDA set out to do. Uh, if you look at... Um, the SIOC uh, 
they, they'll be getting uh, over 400 million this year. And last year they spent 500 million rand on community projects. That is empowerment. On the accommodation front, you seem to be building a lot of houses and then getting to this vexing issue of hostels. You've now fully converted to family units. It's very nice family units that we now have, uh, well ahead of the target that was set uh, for us by the government. But when you go there and you see the people that live in those uh, uh, units, it's really nice to see. Colomela is really benchmark. I'm very, very pleased with the houses that were built there, uh, with the integrated nature of, of, of the development. Uh, I took the chairman there and he was so pleased. He wants to take the entire government and the entire media to go and see it.